hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show how to design this simple model from StartCAD cam site we will draw this model as a way to practice drawing in FreeCAD using part design and sketcher workbench if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. In the start page here, we'll create a new document and here we'll select part design of bench and create a new body and a new sketch. This first sketch here will create in on the top plane. We here will select XY plane. Okay. And in this sketch here, we'll draw a sketch this sketch here with these two walls here. So here we go to sketch geometers and we have to select this rounded rectangle tool and now draw this rectangle in this way and next here we'll set smart constraint here so we select this point here and this point and now this origin point okay and next let's set the dimension of this rectangle so first here we'll constraint the range of this arc here to 4 millimeters okay and now here we'll set the vertical dimension here we have 9 here so here we select this point and this point here and we set 9 okay and now we set the horizontal dimension of this rectangle so here we see 25 millimeters okay and now here we'll draw these two cycles so first here we'll hide these these constraints here so clicking this button here and now we have this oh and now select this cycle tool and we draw this cycle now and we constrain the diameter of this cycle to here we see 6.5 millimeters okay and next here we clone this cycle so we select this tool here and now click in this vertical line and now we have this and next here we select this smart constraint and we set these two center points smart to this origin point okay and now as you can see we have to set this horizontal dimension this dimension between these cycles here we have seven six point five so here we'll select this vertical distance tool and now these two points and we set the length here to 76.5 millimeters and now we have this sketch full concerned so we can leave this sketch and now go to the pad tool press home and here we'll set a length of 10 millimeters for this pad we have here this dimension so here we'll set OK and now we select this edge here and here we'll create a full lot of OK. Next here we'll create this part here, a sketch for this part. OK. So we create a new sketch in YZ plane. OK. And here first we select this tool here and we extract this edge here and then this edge and now we switch to section view. And now here select this polyline tool and draw this sketch in this way. Okay, this sketch must be closed. Okay. And next here, first we'll set this angle here. 105 degrees. So we select this constraint here and now this line here and this line. And okay, now we have this. So what you'll do here, here you will set a formula, you will set 108 minus 105 degrees and OK. And next here we see this horizontal distance here. So we select this constraint here and for this line here we set 48. OK. And here we see this distance, 20 millimeters. So here we'll select this point and now this end point here and we set 20. Okay, and now we have one degree of freedom. So it means that we have to set the length of this line here. So here we see this dimension here, 51. 
so you will select this vertical distance tool and now this origin point and now this end point here and we set 51 and ok and now we'll leave this sketch here and now we select this pad tool and we set some metal plane and the length here we set 6 millimeters ok and set ok now and what we'll do next next here we'll create this part here so here we'll create a new sketch in YZ plane ok and here we switch, we switch to section view and now here we draw a line so I'll select this polyline tool and draw this sketch in this way ok and now here we select this arc tool click in this vertical line here and draw this arc in these two points ok and now here we will set the dimension of this sketch here so as you can see here here we have 62 this dimension here to this line here so we select this constraint here and we set a length of 62 for this line here and now select this constraint here and we set these two these three lines these three points but okay and now we'll constrain the reds of this arc to the five okay or first we can okay here we select this fillet tool and we make a fillet we make fillets in these edges and now we select this equal constraint and we set these two arcs equal okay and next here we'll set the edge of these arcs here so for this arc here we have 7.5 okay and for this arc here we have 35 okay so now we have two degrees of freedom so what we'll do here here we have this distance 50, 15 okay and we have this vertical distance here so first here we'll select this constraint here this vertical distance tool and now select this origin point and now this point here and set 51 okay and now here we extract this edge and we set a horizontal distance here of 15 okay and now we can leave this sketch so we select this icon here and now select this pad tool and set smart plane and here we'll set the length of 25 okay so now we have this and next here we'll create this part here so what we'll do is to select this space here and create a new sketch and here we'll draw a cycle okay here we'll draw a cycle and we'll set the diameter of the cycle here to 15 okay and now we have to okay now we have to constrain this cycle so we have to set the vertical distance here so first here we'll extra this edge here and now select this vertical distance tool and the distance here will set the half of 62 millimeters so you will set this formula and ok leave this sketch and now select this pad tool set reversed and the length of this pad here will set 47 millimeters so change here and ok now we have this okay and next here we'll create these pockets here okay so first here we go to model and we go to this pad here click in this arrow and copy this sketch here okay and now pass the sketch in this document and now drag the sketch and spacebar to make the sketch visible and double click now and switch to section view here and what we'll do here here we'll change the dimensions of this sketch okay so as you can see here here we have this diameter 
and this arc here will not change okay and we'll change the vertical dimension here to 40 so we, we double click here and we set 40 and here we change to this dimension here okay it's all and now we we'll leave the sketch and we select this pocket tool and here we'll set smart to plane and the length here will set 17 okay and now we have this as you can see and next here we we'll select this face and here we create a new sketch and now here we extract this this edge here and this edge and here we select this centered rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and now we'll set the dimension of this rectangle so to the height of this rectangle we'll set 42 so select this constraint here and now this line and we set 42 and now here we have this horizontal distance okay here we have two millimeters so here we'll select this point and now this point here and we set two and now leave the sketch and select this pocket tool and here we change the top to draw goal and set okay and now we have this and now here we we'll create this pocket here so again we select this face and we create a new sketch and here we extra this edge here okay and we draw a cycle in this center point here and we set the diameter of the cycle to here we have 15 so we will set this dimension here okay and leave the sketch and now select this pocket tool and we set to wall and okay and what we'll do next next here we'll create this wall here so here in this model what to do is to select this face here and now go to this wall tool and what we have to change here here we have to change the diameter to seven millimeters okay and as you can see now we have this wall here so set okay and and what we'll do next next here we'll create this these three dead walls okay so here we'll select we select this face here and we create a new sketch okay and here we extract this edge okay so okay control z let's extract this edge here so now we get we have this this point here and next here select this cycle tool and draw this cycle in this vertical line and now we set equal constraint for these two cycles and here we'll set a distance of 50 so we select this vertical distance tool and now do these two center points and we set fifth okay and and next here we have next here we create a point here okay so next here we select we select okay let's extract this nope click in this icon and now select this tool here and create a point here and now click here again and here will set smart constraint here in these three points okay and now select this constraint here and we set horizontal constraint for these two points here okay and now we have one degree of freedom okay so now we leave this sketch here and now we go to this wall tool okay and here we'll change the parameters of these walls so first here we set iso we set this first option and check this and now we change the size here to this reference okay select this option here and 
Next here we change here to admission and and here we'll set this dimension here 18 and for this option here we'll set 14 okay and now click OK and now we have these walls here and what we'll do next next here we'll do these fillet operations with a range of 2 millimeters so here first we select this edge and we go to the filler tool and we change the radius here to 2 millimeters. Okay, and now click in this add button and now here we'll add this edge and this edge and now this edge and this edge here. So we select this edge. And now click OK. And as you can see, now we have these fillets here. And we finish the design of this model. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.